A university is not something that one simply opens, like a savings account or a jar of pickles. Any self-respecting academic institution was doubtlessly opened long ago by dignified people who wore bowler hats and spoke via subtitle, The world is a creation of the past, and it is our job to keep it all going and try not to touch anything. Taking your medication because it's time for the Harrison Wolf Show here on Two Point Radio. And it's gonna be a wild ride. It's me, Harrison Wolf, the voice of freedom screaming into a thankless night. It's gonna be a huge show today. So I'm gonna eat a big old sandwich. Let's power up and power on. Students are reminded that you came here on purpose.
announcement, not a real announcement. See that Bungle launched another rocket into space the other day? I'm sure they'll tell you that it's important work, but what I want to know is why don't they try something a little funkier? I mean, how many times do we have to do the same old bunch of astronaut things? Why not send up a load of sandwiches? Or a robot? Or that angry badger that lives in my garden? Because it doesn't fit with their agenda. That's why. Students are asked not to ask questions. are reminded that some grades are personal. forgotten what this segment was going to be about. Do you ever just forget what you were going to say? Thoughts are like frogs and sometimes they just hop away, but they know what they're doing. If I still knew, we'd never have had this moment. It feels right. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember now. Here's a song. Dogs don't eat homework.
students are reminded to be in two places at once. How do you follow up the best-selling album in Two Point County history with even more music? Even more. Jasmine Odyssey presents Even More. Students are reminded to set reminders. the longer you've been revising.
Harrison Wolf bringing you unfiltered content on Two Point Radio. I don't have an editor on my show. Why? Because editors can change what you say. They can make me say, hey everyone, come to my house and take my petunias. But I'd never say that outside of this specific example. It's gotta be natural, man. Give me juice with the pulp and give me cheese with the wax on. This is Radio O Natural. It's El Fresco. It's El Dente. Oh, yeah. Janitor required in lecture theater. Yes, we are testing you. are reminded to find themselves. I was watching some of that Cheesy Gubbins show the other day. You know, the Cheesy Goblins? Man, was I confused. What's their deal? Do they grow the Gubbins? Are they trying to find them or mine them or something? I would tell you, kids must be pretty smart these days to follow such a complex show. Tip of the hat to any kids listening along. Tuition fees may be spent on administrative bonuses.
future, starting now. Some expressions are more than a little strange, like getting up on the wrong side of the bed. What are you talking about? If you're having a lousy day, there's no need to vilify half of your mattress, my man. Jeez, just have a bagel or something. There's enough negativity in the world. Doctor, return to the hospital. Thank you. It's the end of today's show, but don't worry. Every ending is the opportunity for you to, you know, go and do something else. When life flushes the toilet, it starts showing a cool movie at that theater downtown. So have a good one, my friends. See you next time. Frequently asked questions. No, you can't have an extension.
education is non-refundable. There's a fly in here. University gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. should be checked in and then removed immediately. Frequently asked questions. No, I've not seen your frog.
listening to Ricky Hawthorne. Ooh. On Two Point Radio. Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Today, I balance two hats jauntily on my one singular head. My regular disc jockeying hat is joined by my occasional chef hat. Yes, I'll be taking you all over Two Point County as I recount my latest culinary travels when I set out to find the finest foods our great county has to offer. Just a hungry man in his hatchback. It's a tale as old as time. Janitor needed in the dormitory. Culinary world is a lot like the real world. There are places, there are smells, there's a chance you'll get lost. After a series of wrong turns, now 60 miles off course, I was treated to the first food of my trip. A wandering puffed pastry and something I believe to be meat. The buttery sausage style matter mingled playfully with hints of pine from my air freshener. 
It was unexpected. It was dangerous. It was cold in the middle. Security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry. a belief system. If you ask me, Hogsport boasts the finest milkshakes in Two Point County. At the Oily Cormorant, they'll serve you a traditional malt in an old leather boot and throw in a salt and vinegar egg. You just cannot beat it. Milkshakes are a great tradition. They're in our blood. In fact, I once received medical attention after enjoying a few dozen shakes and was told that my blood was over 60% ice cream. How we laughed. <sighs> Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me.
students are reminded that I'm not your mum. Hey guys, guys, hear me out. What if we went back to school? It started as a class reunion and ended with them back in class. That's crazy! <laughs> hey, I'm climbing on a statue! Whoa. Everybody get in the shed! Oh, I can't revise anymore, my knees hurt! <laughs> Roger and Cushion is Varsity Freshman in Immature Students. We are approaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry.
Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. I'm a huge fan of Yeti cuisine. Yes, our neighbors to the north really know their way around a kitchen. From stews and pickles to five-tiered sandwiches and, of course, their pies. Cold hands make the boldest pastry, after all, and it is freezing up there. You really must try it. It's the food of the people, and those people are Yetis. Skills are non-transferable. questions. No, I will not be your friend. I was famished when I arrived at the Royal Tumble Hotel. So much so that I took advantage of my kitchenette and feasted greedily on some toast. When I returned from a walk, I was stunned to find that all crumbage had been decrumbled. The bed was made and the toilet spotless. Every sign of life had been washed away. You've got to ask yourself, had I really been staying here? Indeed, do I exist at all? Lovely stuff! Frequently asked questions. Yes, we are testing you.
facilities are expensive and education is priceless. talking on campus. Thank you. This trip was all about regional delights and cultural differences. One man's casual volleyball is another's world-shattering epiphany. The people of Smogley have been crusting and dusting their fish for as long as anyone can remember. But at the recently opened What's the Batter, they use a unique cheesy gubbin crumb. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I can safely say that it was the cheesiest fish this DJ had ever eaten. <laughs> That's a winner. Students are reminded to have the time of their lives. questions. No, I've not seen your frog. are reminded 
to find themselves. I hope you enjoyed today's show as much as I enjoyed my trip around this wonderful, mysterious county of ours. But for now, all of this talk about food has made me hungry. So I'm off to the fridge to take out the first thing I find and cover it in mayonnaise. Until next time, I've been Ricky Hawthorne. Cheers! Students are reminded that I'm not your mum. Don't eat him.
university gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. Yes, it's that time again, initiation week. We'll be trying to see through the hazing as every club, society, and group with matching hats gets together to welcome their newest members by, well, sort of harassing them a bit. Janitor required in bathroom. Students are reminded that this is the fun part. It's time for an initiation week tip from our resident student expert, Maggie Watmore. I join every club because I don't want to miss out on any potentially precious campus experience. Unfortunately, quite a lot of the events do clash, but if you make a schedule and run really fast between them, you can do it all. 
You might be known as the person that comes late and leaves running before the end, but, you know, it's important to leave an impression. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water, remember? We're back with our initiation week special and how to handle it with style. <laughs> initiation week provides all of us with a lot of choices. But I wanted to take the time to remind you that you don't have to choose any of them. There's something so overdone about clubs on campus, don't you think? Haven't we all had enough backgammon and volleyball? Fun doesn't have to be organized. Distracted students should pretend that they're listening.
if it's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me. To a start. D. I've been feeling a bit lost, you know. Orb. I could really do with a sense of purpose. Foundation. Who needs purpose when you've got the orb? our Initiation Week special on Campus Radio. I hope our collective wisdom has helped you in some small way navigate the extracurricular minefield. And if it hasn't, well, there's always next year. We're sorry for the litter that you... Oh, sorry, that's mine.
this. Please drink some water. Thank you. Questions. No, you can't have an extension. Welcome to the show. I'm Richard E. Hawthorne, and you join me today for Two Point Radio's Election Day Special. We'll be talking all things mayoral as Two Point County approaches another important day in its history, and indeed, its future. Get in touch to tell us what you're thinking and how you're feeling. Who will be the next mayor of Two Point County? You decide. 
announcement. Hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. Back. Today's election sees incumbent mayor Tabitha Winsock take on all challengers. One such foe is Gumbo McNally. Yes, the cousin of Jumbo CEO, Jumbo McNally. Ms. Winsock has held a steady, some say tedious, lead in the polls over Mr. McNally. But what effect, if any, will his last gas speech have on today's proceedings? If you missed it, Mr. McNally finished a rousing 12-minute display with a story of how he once took a modest pile of change from his father and turned it into an impressive lunchtime spread, featuring sandwiches, crisps, and sausage rolls. Oh, now that is impressive. Janitor required for groundskeeping. Thank you.
is not a belief system. From Michelle and Smogley, I spoke to Mayor Winsop after a Q&A once and told her that I'd written her a letter. She said that she remembered reading it, but I'd never sent it to her. So what? Did she break into my house? Or is she, like, telepathic, but just with post? What a lovely anecdote, Michelle. And aren't we lucky to have a mayor that's willing to go above as well as beyond? Students are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. Where do I start? The... I've been feeling a bit lost, you know. Orb. I could really do with a sense of purpose. Foundation. 
Who needs purpose when you've got the all? So asked not to ask questions. We are approaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry. It's election day here in Two Point County. Who else remembers the year they tried to hold the election through a bundle made phone application? It's amazing to think that we'll never know whether the app didn't work or if no one voted that year. That's the mysterious wonder of pioneering technology. Anyway, here's hoping that this year we'll get some votes in. The academic year is starting soon. Was there anything we wanted to do? Enjoy your summer. I know I will. End of year results are now available. No unauthorized panicking.